Hi everybody, it's Anita from Llewellyn Arts again. I want to share another of the journals that I created since I took the course called Artist in Bloom from the Amity Bloom channel on YouTube. This is about the fourth one that I created after taking the course and I'm still loving working with all the materials and the whole style and process involved here. So we'll take a look at all the details on this one. I worked in a little bit different color scheme. I love my colors and it's hard for me to vary a whole lot from that. But this cover has a button hand sewn on there, a scrap of lace, some embossed cardstock and some contrasting stitching and here I'm still working at trying to learn to do that stenciling with the modeling paste and my layers here eyelid in behind and you can see all the layers that cascade down here from the pages at the top and at the bottom and here we have the spine and the back of the journal and I haven't attached anything to the um, signature strings yet but I'll get there sooner or later I'll get there so here we're going to go inside and we see these layers and we open up and I've got eyelet and a scrap piece of a beautiful old handkerchief with this tiny delicate crochet work and I love the colors on that and the softness and inside I've got paper collaging and again, I used um, muslin for the hinges and stitched that on. And I've got layers cascading down here created by the length of the pages and the different laces that I added to the bottoms of the pages. And here I used another part of that handkerchief. And I love that lace, so I, I let that be the bottom and the edge of the pocket. And I've created some tags to journal on and here I've layered or collaged some um, digital images. Open this up and I've got more collaging, a piece of lace up here for some additional color, fabric hinge and underneath it on this page I have another page that is collaged as well and a scrap piece of lace and some of the embossing and open this up and you can journal on these pages here and here and this page is fabric that is attached to the cardboard base. I've got a fabric hinge, some scrap pieces of crochet, some lace down at the bottom and up here I've layered a pretty piece of eyelet and behind it, this large piece that you see at the top, maybe you see it, maybe you don't, there you go. That piece is actually attached over here. So that's how you get your layers. And I've added a piece of fabric there. So we close this and open this, and this is still part of our cover. And we've created a flip out mini journal here. Some more of that stenciling with the modeling paste. Open this up and we've got the mini journal or what Nazi calls the um, extension that gives you additional journaling space and I've run this through an embosser and die cut the circle and inside the pocket I fussy cut the roses and placed them on another digital sheet and a place to journal there and tied a pretty piece of old trim crochet trim on there and I just love that so I put this paper inside the pocket so that when the tags out of there you've still got a pretty image there and you can put that back in and open this up further and extend this out and you can journal here or attach your own ephemera I've got a scrap piece of lace over here the mini journal just miscellaneous pieces of paper just like any journal would be and I've got more collaging a scrap here more layers and look how pretty this is all the way across love it love it 
over here, more collage, the back side of a piece of upholstery fabric, and I've got this beautiful piece. It's a thick piece of trim, all the shapes and designs on that, and a piece of eyelet down here at the bottom, and over here a fabric page. I took of the liberty, I added this on my own, a piece of bed sheet that had roses printed on it and I wanted to include some of that so I reinforced the spine which wasn't really necessary on this particular fabric but I went ahead and did that just for color and then over here this starts the signature of the journal the main part of the journal and I've added a fabric page here and then layers same thing you've got layers peeking out everywhere by varying the width staggering the width of the pages and adding things to the bottom and the top of your pages and here I layered some scraps which don't want to lay flat but that's okay and here I pleated up a little bit of paper coffee dyed papers some scraps here love that handmade edge love this paper it has some gold foil on it here I made a pocket and added a piece of eyelet here and this creates layers with the pages further on in the journal and even here you get that cascading effect of the textures and here I put some butterfly designs on a piece of vellum and made a page added a piece of lace trim at the bottom of this page look how pretty this looks all together all the way across and down through here all these pretty edges and layers collaging some stitching another pocket or tuck spot this came from a stitching book and I love the patterns on that come on Anita get your hands working there girl some heat embossing I love the gold foil and it shows through a little bit on this side which I even like this is a greeting card that had a get well uh, sentiment on it and so I printed out the word simplicity and added that. Lots of space to journal. I mean, this probably doesn't look that big from the front, but boy, it's got a lot of space to journal. And here, a pocket. Got some collaging behind the pocket and added some more embossed texture to help with the layering. And over here, how pretty that is. More vellum. love this. I always envied the ladies that had original wallpaper samples. The only thing I've been able to come across has been ugly, to say the least. And just a week ago, I came across rolls of this that's embossed. It's a little bit shiny, which I had some misgivings about, but I think it works. But I just love the delicate peachy pinky little bit of goldish green a little bit of gray blue in there so I've collaged and gotten to use that I finally have my own I'm so thrilled to have my own original wallpaper and here I've added some paper scraps some butterflies definition of the word bloom and again you're still seeing all the layers out across some more stitching and this is an old piece of binding some more trim and paper collage the fabric page this is another fabric page and here you can see a little bit of the pink flowers from the bed sheet design and I decided I wanted a little bit of a flip or some textures on this so I came up with layering the eyelet with some crochet and a piece of uh, scarf 
that's almost like gauze. I got that at a thrift store and shredded it up and pleated it there and I just love the little pop of color it gives. And I've layered two antique buttons at the top and that just flips up. It is attached and I've attached some lace trim at the top and you can see how pretty that is here maybe if I get it in camera you can see how pretty that is at the top and this is the back of the signature and I had a strip this was off of a, a, a cloth placemat the, the rose pattern print and I had been somebody was good enough to send me a random act of kindness package a while back and it had this beautiful piece of old lace in it and I attached that over the roses and with this quilted piece of fabric that I used as a cover I just love this I love the the designs and the patterns all the way across so here you go into the back cover I've got more collaging some more of the uh, embossed cardstock and your fabric sample page which I love I love the colors I love fabric so we have that and this collage page I've used the sewing machine to stitch journaling lines but those can be hand drawn if you don't want to do that by machine vintage lace at the bottom and in here we've got the two pages together so that this could be a pocket over here a lot going on I've collaged the page added some more of that heat embossing on this pocket I've got layers of fabric or layers of paper and then a scrap piece of doily and the fabric hinge and then you pick up this lace from the previous page back page embossed cardstock some of that pretty sheer scarf for color I collaged the page and here I have an embossed tag that goes right in the belly band and the back page and there's your fabric hinge and I really I think I'm addicted to making this style of journal and I'm definitely addicted to shopping for some of the secondhand materials that can be found that work great in these journals so there you have it I love making them Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.